So one thing that I like to do, especially in groups, but with individuals too, um, to encourage friendship skills is um, defining a good friend and a bad friend. So we can start by reading Rainbow Fish, um, in which um, Rainbow Fish starts out as like not having great friendship skills, right? He's not sharing, he's not being friendly, but by the end of the book, he has sort of learned that to have friends, he has to be a good friend. Um, so after we read the book, we can build a good friend and a bad friend. So we use recycled materials and they usually end up looking like little robots. Um, but then we decorate them with stickers or tape or fabric or markers, whatever they want um, to include qualities of a good friend, like having a kind heart or big ears for being a good listener. Um, and then for the second one, you do what are some qualities of a bad friend? Um, so it might be like a scowl because they're mean to you or, um, you know, writing something kind of like mean on it, like they gossip. Um, so that can help kids have tangible reminders of not only what friendship qualities to look for in others, but also how to be a good friend themselves.